Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. There are two options available when entering customer charges. The first option is to create a journal entry for the charge. To create a journal entry, click the Create icon and select Journal Entry from the Other heading. That will open the Journal Entry Number window. Create the journal entry as a debit to Accounts Receivable and a credit to the associated income account. Enter a description of the charge into the Description field. Then enter the customer's name into the two name fields. You can enter a memo to yourself into the Memo field. Then click either Save, Save and New, or Save and Close to complete the journal entry. If it is a recurring charge, like a monthly subscription fee, click the Make Recurring link at the bottom of the Journal Entry Number window to create a recurring journal entry for the charge. This saves time and effort as QuickBooks Online Plus automatically creates a new journal entry after the time interval has elapsed. The second option is to create an invoice for the charge. To create an invoice for the customer charge, you must create a product or service for the charge. After creating the new product or service, you can then create an invoice or sales receipt for the new customer charge. If it is a recurring charge, you can also create a recurring invoice for the charge. If the charge is recurring and does not have an automatic payment setup, creating a recurring invoice might be a better option. A recurring invoice can automatically email each new instance of the invoice to the customer. However, many businesses that charge a recurring fee have a prepayment or automatic payment option for the charges assessed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.